Hey everyone, my name is Vlamin, and in this video we're going to have a look at how you can deploy Mixtral Instruct on your own cloud instance. We're going to be using the version that is under the WAM CPP format, GGUF, from the blog, and I'm going to show you how you can deploy the model on a A6000 GPU card. If you want to follow along, there is a complete text tutorial that is available on ML Expert, and it is completely free under the blog part. Uh, this is the latest post, run your own AI mixed row on your machine. And uh, here you can follow the complete tutorial along with some screenshots on, uh, of course, all of the commands that you need in order to get the model to run and all of the code that I'm going to show you in a bit. Let's get started. Mixtral was released on December 11th, 2023, and that makes it more than four months out. But I still believe that Mixtral is actually one of the best open models that we currently have. And the revolutionary part about it was that is, it is actually a mixture of experts model, and it is also a sparse mixture of experts model. So, in essence, uh, the Mixtral model is essentially eight times seven billion parameter models that are uh, called, each of those seven billion parameters models are called um, expert. And then the model was outperforming WAMA two 70 billion parameter models on uh, most benchmarks, as you can see in the original blog posts. Uh, it is also a multilingual model, which is great. And uh, the important part about Mixtral is actually that it has uh, roughly 47 billion parameters in total, but only about 30 billion parameters of those were used during inference. So uh, inference time was much faster compared to uh, larger models, such as the WAMA to 70 billion parameter models. So this makes the model require about 90 gigabytes of VRAM in uh, floating point 16 operations and yeah this is all of vram so what can you do about it so what we are going to do about the large mixed row model is to be using wam cpp and in our case we are going to be using the python bindings for wama cpp and in our case we're going to be using uh, this library which is a very fast inference library and it is very popular uh, created by by uh, Georgi Gerganov, uh, and he's also Bulgarian, so shout out to him. Uh, this library is a very fast inference library, and it is compatible with a large number of uh, models. And one of the models currently supported officially is uh, the Mixtral model, so uh, let's have a look at how we can use that. The actual Mixtral version that we're going to be using is the Instruct model, and on top of that, we are going to be using the GGUF version of the model. So this is provided by the blog on Hugging Face. And one of the important things about this format is that it is the newer WAMA CPP format. So uh, this is essentially the latest and greatest that you can do, at least at the current time. And uh, of course, uh, there is a very short introduction to the template for Mistral, and we're going to be using uh, automatic templating by the WAMA CP Python library for that. Uh, but uh, just keep in mind that the prompt template is very simple. There is no system prompt within the Mistral and the Mixtral models. They're essentially uh, sharing their prompt template. And this is a very nice summary of the quantization methods that uh, are available and the different files that we're going to be able to download with the model itself. So uh, here you can uh, have a look at the required VRAM that you need. And in our case, we are actually going to be trying to deploy the largest possible model, which here it says that it is requiring about 52 gigabytes of VRAM, but in our case, we are going to be able to fill it on a 6000 GPU. And I'm going to show you how we can uh, do that in a minute. And uh, here is a very nice uh, summary between the difference of WAS and uh, speed. So you can see that the uh, quantization 6K and quantization 8, uh, they're very large. Uh, they have a size about 50 gigabytes and then 40 gigabytes. And both of them are classified as extremely low quality WAS. So these models should be 
pretty much as good as the original mixed row model so keep that in mind and uh, if you have uh, lesser resources maybe you can try to play around with some of the smaller models but at least in my opinion it is very good to be shooting for uh, q6 at least if you can in order to deploy our instance i'm going to be using rumpot and i'm in no way affiliated with them but i like the service that they provide and here uh, when you have an account you can create a pot and uh, in here I'm going to essentially select the A6000 uh, GPU as you can see this uh, roughly costs about 80 cents per hour to run this pot and uh, another thing that I'm going to choose is uh, to be using this PyTorch 2.2.0 template uh, this comes with CUDA and Python 3.10 on Ubuntu 22.04 so this is a perfect template for a starter and uh, in here I'm going to be uh, essentially changing this volume disk so I'm going to be adding about 100 gigabytes of uh, storage so I uh, recall that the actual mixed drum model that we're going to download is roughly 50 gigabytes of uh, storage required and I'm going to be adding a uh, environment variable that I have this is my clean face token so I can also download the model. This is not strictly required for the mixed row model, but if you have some gated models, uh, you can essentially uh, set your secret here and uh, you can set the overrides for this uh, pot. And then uh, make sure that you have SSH terminal access enabled and uh, start of a Jupyter notebook server so this is how my model is going to be looking like uh, we have the RTX with uh, eight CPUs and the total disk is 120 gigabytes after that I'm going to click deploy and this should start my pot and uh, if you are running with this uh, you see something like this we have uh, 16 v cpus with 62 gigabytes of ddr ram and uh, the pot is actually running so in order to connect to the machine i'm going to press the connect button here and uh, i'm going to copy this and get the command in order to sh into the machine then i'm going to go to my terminal paste in the command and i'm going to enter the same command and now you should be able to be within the instance itself what i need to do now is to first check if pip is running the latest version and this should be the case and after that i'm going to get the commands from the tutorial i'm going to be enabling uh wama kubwas to run then i'm going to install wama cpp python with support for kubwas again uh, since we are having CUDA support on this machine and finally i'm going to install the hugging face hub library to the latest version as of now once everything is installed you can quit the terminal and go back to the rampot instance from here i'm going to be tapping the connect to jupyter web and this should open a new tab in your browser after the jupyter instance is running i'm going to create a new notebook and uh, i'm going to rename this to mixtral wama cpp and i'm going to change the settings to dark all right so here i'm going to paste in my code and this should start downloading the model into a models folder and this should take a bit of time but let me go through the code and what is happening right here so the first part is the repository that we're pointing to and this is the repository that we've seen on the blog mixed row the instruct model and then uh, we have the exact file that we want to download and in this case uh, this is going to be the q8 model the largest one and this is why we have roughly 50 gigabytes of storage required and then uh, the final thing that i'm going to be using for the hf hub download function 
is going to be the directory that we are going to be using in order to download our model. Once the download is complete, uh, you can see that the path is, is of the model, it is within the models directory. And uh, here we have the large GUF file. Next, I'm going to be using the WAMA CPP bindings in order to load the model. And uh, here, the important parts are that I am going to set the maximum number of tokens to 2048. Uh, you can increase that up to 32K, I believe, for the mixed round model. This is the number of threads. And here, since our machine has actually had uh, 16 vCPUs, I'm going to be using all of those with the number of threads. And uh, I'm going to essentially offload all of the layers of the the mixed round model to the GPU. And uh, here you can see that the model is actually loading all of the available layers, etc. Uh, and after this, uh, you can see that we are actually getting a correct Mistral instruct chat format for this model. So this was correctly uh, found. And if I go to the NVIDIA SMI, uh, you see that the model is pretty much taking all of the available GPU memory of this machine. The final part is the actual prompting of the model. And uh, here I'm going to be using the create chat completion, completion on the LOM. So this was uh, the LOM variable for the with the WAMA uh, from the library. And uh, here we are using the standard create chat completion format uh, within a messages. And here I'm specifying a single message row as user. And uh, this is the content of the prompt. You're a world renowned paper salesman. Write a single sentence that sells your paper to an AI entity. Uh, let's run this and see how fast we get a response from that. Uh, keep in mind that the model is actually quite large. And uh, yeah, here is the response. I've uh, have a look at the response time and it is roughly 36 or 37 tokens per second. So this is pretty impressive for such a large model. And uh, here is the response. Uh, it is within this JSON object. I high quality durable paper as expertly crafted with advanced machine readability and eco-friendly materials, making it the perfect choice for any AI's data storage and processing needs. So it appears to be doing a very nice job of this. And after you're done with your machine, uh, you can simply stop it. Uh, but if you just keep it stopped, uh, you will be charged for the volume storage. And if you want to get rid of completely of the machine, uh, you need to terminate the pot. So do that if you're done with the machine. So this is it for this video. We've seen how you can deploy Mixtrow using Wama CPP on your own machine. And in our case, we've run it on a A6000 GPU. And as you can see, you can pretty much run this model with very fast inference speed. I mean, like 36 to 37 tokens per second is not really that fast, but still for such an old GPU and only 80 cents per hour, you can essentially do a lot of prompting with these types of models for very cheap price. So uh, if you want to follow along and uh, redo all of the steps, keep in mind that the tutorial is completely free on ML Expert dot io in the box section and if you want to receive more news and updates please join the state of ai newsletter uh here at the bottom of the blog post you can see that there is a subscription for the newsletter so uh, again the newsletter is completely free of course thank you for watching guys please like share and subscribe also join the discord channel that i'm going to link down into the description of this video thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next one Bye.